Hello, and welcome to the United for Math series on Plane Shapes. In this lesson, students will work to classify angles. It's important to know that an angle is formed when two rays share an endpoint. So let's take a look at how angles are formed and what types of angles we'll be working with. So we said that an angle is formed when two rays, so a ray has an endpoint, and then goes on forever in one direction. And another line here, a ray, that goes on forever with an endpoint. So right here, we can see that these two rays share this endpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and label this as an angle. So again, we have a ray another ray, and my endpoint, which forms an angle. Now, an angle might look another way. Let's draw another ray. So this line's going on in this direction. Its endpoint is here. Another ray is going on in this direction. So here is the shared endpoint. So I'm going to label this endpoint. Let's label this my ray, and then I have another ray. So they share right here. Now this angle is actually 90 degrees, or we can call that a right angle. So this here is a right angle, another way to classify our angles. So now that students see what an angle is and how it's formed, we're going to work with angles within a triangle. Now remember, in triangles, all angles must sum to 180 degrees. So let's take a look at our different types of angles within a triangle. So here we have a ray, another ray, that meet at an endpoint. And we see with this box in the corner, that designates a 90 degree or right angle. So this is in fact a right angle. Let's look at our next example. Here I have a ray and another ray that meet at an endpoint. This time they show us that this angle is 45 degrees. Now 45 degrees is less than our 90 degree angle. So this would be considered an acute angle. And finally, we have a ray, another ray that meet at an end point, and this angle, they tell us, is 130 degrees, which is greater than 90. So this is what we call an obtuse angle. So remember, when two rays form a 90 degree angle, that's what we classify as a right angle. Now, if those angles are below or less than 90 degrees, that's an acute angle. It's smaller than 90 degrees. And when our endpoints create an angle that is larger than 90 degrees, that is an obtuse angle. Let's take a look at a few more sample problems. So here I have quite a few angles that we're going to classify. Before we begin, let's just quickly write our rules up here. So if we have an angle that is equal to 90 degrees, that would be our right angle. If we have an angle that is less than 90 degrees, that's an acute angle. And finally, we're looking for any angles that are greater than 90 degrees, which would give us an obtuse angle. So let's look at the angles that we're given and see if we can go ahead and classify them. So I see here, I've got a ray, another ray, end point, and my angle measures at 120 degrees, which is greater than 90. So this angle is obtuse. 
here I have a ray, another ray, endpoint, my angle measures 45 degrees, which is less than 90, so this angle is acute. Down here, I have a ray, another ray, my endpoint, and this creates a 90 degree angle. So this is a right angle. Over here, I've got my ray, another ray, my endpoint, and this angle measures 112 degrees, which is greater than 90, so we can classify this angle as an obtuse angle. Now I'm going to take this one step further because angles can help us to classify, of course, angles. But what if we turn these rays into closed plane figures and create triangles? Then we can also use these angle classifications to classify a triangle. Let's take a look. So let's close in these two rays here to make a closed figure. Now I have created an obtuse triangle because my one angle here is greater than 90 and it's obtuse. Here, if I go ahead and close in this figure, I've now created an acute triangle where all three of my angles will now be less than 90 degrees. And here, I'll close this figure and I've created a right triangle where I have at least one angle is 90 degrees. And finally, here, if I close in this figure, I've created an obtuse triangle because I have one of my angles that's greater than 90 degrees. So remind students, when we're classifying angles, we pay attention to the three different types of angles. The first is our right angle, and that forms when our two rays meet at an endpoint that measures 90 degrees. That's our right angle. Then we have our acute, or our smaller angles, and that happens when two rays meet at an endpoint, and that endpoint creates an angle that is less than 90 degrees. And finally, our obtuse angles. Those happen when two rays form at an endpoint, and that endpoint is greater than 90 degrees within that angle. We look forward to seeing you in our next lesson where we will classify triangles. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.